123 IF Auckland Municipality. After decision, the Supreme Court of Appeals in favor controversial hotel bed tax is one step closer to restore. Tourism and event branch Auckland Tourism, events and economic development as a way to collect money for an targeted ratio was introduced in 2017. The Super City Administration organ, such as Copthorne and Millennium Hotels, such as accommodation groups, just received a small amount of funds. A 2021 Court of Appeal wanted to disrupt the decision. On Friday, Supreme Court decided in favor of counsel, which means that law could be brought again, but it will have to pass through consultation. Jim Stadback, Mayor Auckland Municipality, said it is not a matter appealing the decision of court appeal. We are pleased that this decision gives us clarity for us to evaluate our future options, said. This decision completely approves approach taken by the council and emphasizes that can use financing tools in this way, provided that we meet necessary process requirements, as do here. The decision disappointed Millennium and Copthorne Hotels NZ, a part of the appeal. Company Secretary Takeshi Ito said that rate approved by the court is unfair unfair, and that decision may have potentially longer term effects for hotel owners taxpayers. ITO said, we were greatly disappointed with the decision, ITO said. We think that Court of Cassation has missed a unique opportunity guide local government in New Zealand, and according to our opinion, he should have clarified position of targeted rates on how work, he said. We believe that the decision is not only for hotel owners and operators, but also for other groups that will be subject to unfair targeted rates in the future. The accommodation provider target ratio had previously financed 50% of Auckland Unlimited's destination expenditures, especially for visitors and major events. The ratio was suspended when boundaries were closed due to the COVID-19 epidemic in 2020 and relevant expenditures were reduced. The fee cannot be re-established to the 2023-2024 year-old budget, but it can be considered as a financing option in the 2024-2034 long-term plan.